With the yo ho ho, it's Tell the Toaster. Welcome to some more Inazuma 11 Victory Road. In this video, I'm going to play online for the first time. And I have a couple of friends who want to do some matches, but I want to first test my test my metal against a random and just see how we do against another human because I've been playing a lot more AI matches since the previous video and now haven't won a single one of them. Haven't even got a draw, but in somewhat fairness um, I hadn't been applying these spirits as liberally. My players have only just barely made it to level 2 or 3 respectively and also the opponent even on the easiest AI is level 6 so for as long as you're fighting bots you are actively at a disadvantage anyway. I know com some people are clearly skilled enough to win it anyway. Uh, I'm not there yet. I'm a bit of a slow learner but I have some of these spirits that I've saved to use in video. By default, everyone is green, which suggests they're not very rare, but I've actually used a purple one on Sean to make him advanced. You have normal, then you can either gradually level them up to a growing player with lots of little spirits, or you might find a blue spirit in the wild to just auto-level them up. I got a rare drop of a purple Sean Frost, so I might even move him uh, to the middle of my team now. I want to have... I'm going to use this team on video for the first time. I really want to use the likes of Bylong, Tezcat and Zanuck, but absolutely none of them have moves yet, um, which is a bit of a factor. <laughs> I can't really use a character that doesn't have a move, but Bylong's still going to be on the pitch as uh, a captain. So these green spirits, they don't do much by themselves. They just... Yeah, I needed five of those before Elliot's going to reach advanced by himself. But if I look at my other team of the All-Stars. Axel Blaze is somebody who's been doing a lot of the shots so far and if I just give him this random drop of a growing player that's gonna make him a little bit more rare which gives him uh, an additional passive ability. I'm still not at the point yet where I'm uh, willing to uh, actually consider what the passives do but uh, JP, you've had Flapjack Defense renamed to Pancake Defense, so let's just chuck one on you. And then I think it's pretty important also that the coach can level up because uh, I'll be very, very reliant on my tactics going forwards. And Seymour is over halfway there, and it's the only way you're going to see his 3D model. Um, I can have a look at uh, Percival's as well. If we just go into the model viewer. So he's really happy to be in this demo. I know he's smiling in what is main official artwork, but not the one in the bottom left of the screen. Like I always found it weird his Inazuma 3 artwork was him smiling, but he's also doing it here. Um, your daughter's not in the game yet, though. Sorry about that, mate. But yeah, every time I've been playing against the AI, it's my level 2 team against a level 6 opponent. So like, of course it's not going to work. You are basically being actively encouraged to grind against um, against real people. I don't know if I'm ready for ranked yet. I'll probably get more rewards for winning a ranked match, but let's just do casual for now. Oh, I suppose that's not using my leveled up players, though, is it? Mm. Well, let's do it anyway. Oh, so yeah, I'm, I'm using a level 10 team in casual mode. Um, well, let's do it anyway. It's worth worth a go for the third video. Show off what I've what I've learned. Um, I'll look. It says failed to connect. Have I got? Have I even put the switch on? I yeah, my friends are definitely on. Let's try ranked match instead. See what happens with my level two team. That's bound to go well. Set my set my ranking off as an established Itazuma YouTuber on a low note, you know? Um, blimey, this is taking a minute. I know there's people actively playing the game right now. Don't you try to tell me there's not. Well, I'll hit pause on the recording if I have to. Oh? It's given us something. Who's going to farm my level 2 team? Because I think most people have been correctly just jumping straight to online and leveling themselves up. So I'm going to be at a strict disadvantage. But... Oh god, they're level 10! 
I've been struggling with the level sixes. And, oh, the, we're, we're against a player called Dai, so, D-A-I, so if you're a viewer, uh, make yourself known on the Twitter or the comments, but oh my, how have you already got a level 10 team? Are you using the pre-configured while I'm using my actual guys? At least I've got advanced Sean. Maybe that'll help. Explosion? What does that do? I've finally started using a few more special tactics. The one that make you drop more items, that's perfect. That's how I ended up with advanced Sean in the first place. Uh, Dai has got advanced everyone. Okay, so what we're saying here is on day one of the video game, I have lost like my first six matches and I'm going to uh, lose another one <laughs> by the sounds of it. I haven't even... Oh, they're already going for a shot. My defenders just weren't even getting involved. Of course they're going to pass over here. Uh, I mean, I can tank one shot, but it's already a direct. Oh. Oh, I thought that went in. Uh, I was like, right, they've just scored on me with the opening gambit, and I've immediately thrown it off the pitch. Again, skill diff. The skill diff is in full effect here. But hopefully, if I just look like a little bit too weak, they'll pity me. And then I'll be able to get a goal, right? I'd love a goal. Uh, they're going to pass to Elliot. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm learning that much as the meta while playing this game. Oh, you can just pass again, of course. Well, I don't have any defenders left, then you've outplayed me. Uh, I mean... Oh god, it's in. Right, so... So ranked wasn't really the right idea either then. I was hoping it would just draw me into a, like, complete and utter random so that I could... Uh, I don't even have the ball. Why am I in a... Why am I in a breakthrough here? He's just taken the ball from me when it was all the way over there! Did you see what? Open beta for a reason. Oh my. Right, they're gonna pass to Axel. I see through you. Gabby wins! Yeah! Taylor the Toaster makes reads. But oh good lord. Um I'm gonna go through! Jude wins! The run button! How did I miss? Um, I've got a straight choice between... Let's take a shot, at least. It's not gonna... It's not gonna do a great deal, but we've got Bylong into the death zone. This is the first shot of the whole match, so Mark's gonna tank this quite handily. And what I'm learning is the, the strat here is to reduce the goalkeeper's strength over time. But if they've got full tension, they can use their special move, which will pretty much always win. And if they do use the special move, their gauge will not be reduced at all. So essentially, all I've done there is waste my own uh, tension to use a move that was never going to work because my opponent could afford their own. Uh, well, I have to do something. I can't just sit in front of goal and do sod all. Um, <laughs> The, clearly, the, the point is to make them waste special moves elsewhere so that Mark can't always do that. Or just, if I miss my shot, do another shot. You know? Oh, what the... It's too late now. You've let it in. Why is it even asking me for an option? It's in the net. I saw it. Of course, a level 10 is going to out overpower my level 2 Sam. That wiped me out from the beginning. It's looking more like a real... Not a real Inazuma 11 game, obviously this is a real Inazuma game, but the Inazuma games have passed where goalkeepers can very much be skill diffed just by higher levels. How... I guess this is just a little bit of lag, maybe? Um, there's no way I can get past that from Jack. Yeah, not even with the pass. Okay, well... At least I know how to do the timing mini game. It always tells me I do it perfect, and then I usually lose regardless, because obviously the other player will be getting it perfect as well. But I did it that time, and then Bylon completely whiffed! Mate! We passed it directly to your legs! Concentrate, Bylon, please! You are the captain of this team. 
At least I guessed the right direction there, but uh, let's try him again. Come on, Bylon, step it up. Oh, I've gone into the zone. I don't like going into the defensive zone on purpose because it's like conceding defeat. I just want to press the A button and catch a shot. Um, yeah, I have to combustion catch because this is uh, too strong for me otherwise, I believe. It also zoomed past me again. That's an online work, I think, that hasn't been happening with the AI. But yeah, we're two goals down at half time. Usually against the AI at this point, I'm like 1 0 down, or maybe at a push, 0 0, with a chance that the second half might be not so bad. I'm actually winning on p possession for the first time in this video game, which is nice. Um, but I'm also still. Absolutely no closer to working something out. Legendary Wolf is apparently the strongest shot I've got ahead of Death Zone. If TP is game. actually corresponding to the power. They've got some reserve forwards they're going to sub on. I don't have any other players with special moves at the moment. So I have to stick with these guys. I'm still choosing to pass to Bylong every time. Even though he can't actually do anything. Um... Right, so we're in the net area again. He's fire tornadoing me. Some people learn quicker than others. And I cannot combustion catch, so I cannot win, presumably. Yeah, it's just too strong. It was direct, and it was a fire tornado from someone with an 8 level advantage. Basically, I just need to grind and get higher leveled. But to actually get a decent amount of experience points, I need to win matches. So... Oh, it's in Jack's possession, not mine. I see. Uh, I thought I thought I had a nice one-on-one -on -one building up there. Yeah, the, the game seems a bit of a vicious cycle at the moment, where to stand a chance against the AI or the CPU, you need to be higher leveled. Um or have better players, but to have higher levels or get better players, you need to win to get experience, but you can't, w yeah, it's it's like um, applying, for a j applying for your first job. Um, you can't, we're not gonna hire you because you've not got enough experience, but how do I get experience if no one will hire me? It's that kind of dilemma where um, yeah, I need experience points, but I can't get experience points without winning, and I can't win without getting experience points, and we're already stuck in this death loop in day one. But it's fine, if I can slowly grind my way up to level six, I'll at least be on even footing with the AI eventually, and then I'll start winning. The other thing I can do is create private lobbies with my friends and match into other people who aren't going to be as elite at the game as certain Mr. Die is. Um, because, yeah, this is this is just purely an exhibition on whether or not I can get S rank. Let's see. Let's see Meteor Blade caught in the bare hands by Sam like it was in my first Victory Road video. That's... Oh, he's passing it over for a shoot chain. I, again, forgot that was even a thing. But you're basically reliant on... Oh no, you can... So I thought, yeah, you can do shot chain if you use a special move into someone else's special move. But no, apparently you can special move into someone's regular direct shot. I need to learn how to do that because... Yeah, you know that legend gate in Go Galaxy where you're fighting Team Ogre with a 20 level disadvantage and the only way you can actually beat them? Uh, oh, I got a Kevin card. That's nice. Um, yeah, that Team Ogre match where the only way you can score is by oh, I ran it out of ran it out of play um, by using shot chains. That's the only option to have enough power. That's what this is feeling like at the moment. Can I zone from here? Yeah, I can. I'll oh, just frigate. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's legendary wolf from here. Yes, they'll be able to stop it easily, but all of my all of my other forwards are being marked anyway. So let's just at least get a shot in. Mark has more than enough defense um, to stop this one. 
But yeah, God Hand, he's not even sweating it. I still reduced some of his TP, so it's not like a full um, TP shield unless... I pressed Hunter's net down, I still lost. What the heck? Hunter's net lost to a regular dribble? That's possible? Oh yeah, uh, explosion. Let's see what that does. I didn't even get to read or find out, but... It might have helped, because I, I caught the ball. Right, dash. Pass. Jack ran into me just to activate a foul. On day one, we are already using the cheeky strats. You see someone running, so you play to the random, and you you charge your own defender into a runner just to activate a foul on a random percentage chance. Yeah, I got 5 owed. They S-ranked me. That's... Okay. And I don't even... I don't think they're using a preset team. I think they just happen to already be level 10. Because the more you win, the more you're able to win, the more experience points you'll be getting. So I've just got to drag myself up to level 6 onwards from the gra... Okay, I still gained a lot more experience there, actually. So, a loss against the CPU is barely worth any experience, but clearly a loss against a human is worth a lot more. I just have to tank my ranking to do it. But, well, that'll do it. I get. Did I lose points, or do I just stay at a net zero for now? Because, yeah, if it's like Smash Brothers, where you just... A new DLC character drops, and so you immediately spend day one losing with them because you don't understand them like Min Min and Steve you might just permanently tank your GSP at least in this game it doesn't seem like I'm in the negatives I'm just staying at zero for now so therefore it is still in my best interest to lose to humans in ranked than to keep losing to um, the CPU in practice mode so let's at least take take some of those benefits um, and pour that into my guys because if I can get Ev Elliot and Kevin um, To a point where they're re reliably strong enough to score that would be nice We do have the ability to make Kevin a growing player if Bylong or Tezcat had a special move then that would be even better um, Looks like we've got the rarest Nathan. I'm really starting to sound like a mobile game player already but I guess the most recent entry in this series was a mobile game so it kind of adds up. Uh, I know they did a lot of this mechanical stuff in Megaton Musashi. Um, they had like rare robot drops and I will be buying that game when it comes out for what it's worth. Maybe look forward to some content on that but let's just look for Nathan in particular and then the rest of the spirit stuff can happen off screen. So advanced player and it does keep the regular spirits that I used on him last time. So that's nice that it's carried over a little bit. Um, yeah, he's got some extra stats that I don't quite understand yet. Wahoo! And also Xavier, my goat on this team, even though he hasn't actually scored yet. He will be able to when he does this. Throw in player. Meteor Blade will be that little teeny weeny bit better when a same element player is nearby. Shot is a teensy bit stronger, and he will happen to have Axel near him most of the time. I believe you can also use, like, the wrong spirit on someone. So let's just try that, see if it happens to work. Yeah, so it get, if you use the wrong player, it increases you by one point instead of two. Well, good to know, at least. Okay, so I'm going to do probably a few more ranked matches off screen, or I'll maybe gather up one of my mates... For an online match next but i'll just see where i can get to it see you in another video